Novel Crafter is absolutely amazing for fiction, but can it also write nonfiction? Is it even worth using for nonfiction or would you be better off using a separate tool out there? To be clear, I'm talking about long form nonfiction. So things like articles and books. I'm not talking about ad copy, product descriptions and things like that because those things are really better done with a good prompt in a chat bot like ChatGPT, Claude or Gemini. And no, because I know a lot of you are gonna ask about this, I actually don't recommend tools like Jasper or Copy AI. There are some tools out there that are good for very specific use cases, but on the whole, those tools are really meant for people who really have no idea how to use AI. And a good prompt is all you need to get better results than what those tools give you, especially if you're using one of the better models like Claude. But Novel Crafter, Novel Crafter is actually amazing for long form nonfiction, but there are a few tweaks that you have to make in order to make it work. Let's run through it a little bit together. All right, so for this video, I am going to be working on a book that I'm calling The Necessary Joy of Fandom. This is just a personal project, a little nonfiction project of mine that I'm sort of just working on here and there, not really going full tilt on it, but it is a nonfiction book and I am writing it in Novel Crafter, so I'm gonna be using it as my example today. First, for those who are a little unfamiliar with Novel Crafter, there are a couple of things that you should know about. For instance, here we have this thing called the Codex. This is where we put sort of background information. If we're we were writing fiction this is where you'd put information about your characters and things like that and i'll show you exactly how we're using this in a second uh, you also have up here you have the plan write and chat as well as review but we don't really need to look at the review tab right now uh, the chat option lets you chat basically with any model but you can add context to the outline of your novel, to a specific scene in your novel, to the full text of a novel, and it's a great way to kind of get ideas that are tailored for your novel. Over here on the plan here, you can map out what you want each chapter to cover, and write everything in there and of course in the right tab this is where you actually write your book and you write it using one scene beat at a time where you basically summarize what you want the next couple hundred words to say and it'll write it out for you then you edit it and continue on that way also down here one of the first things you want to do is make sure that you have open router and open ai apis connected because this will be what gives you access to the different AI tools. As long as you have an open router account, it's pretty simple to connect it here. You just hit this connect button. And then with OpenAI, you just need to go into the OpenAI platform to get an API key that you can just add here. Nothing really to it. All you need to do is follow some easily accessible steps. And I actually did a whole video called Novel Crafter 101, walking you through these steps a little bit more in depth. But the main thing you wanna make sure you have access to is Open Router and OpenAI here. There are others as well that you can look through, but those are the two big ones there. The other thing to be aware of here is this prompts tab here in the bottom left. Yeah, this will give you access to various types of prompts and you can modify or change these prompts or add your own. And we're actually going to be doing that here because as you can see, some of this is tailored for fiction. It says you are an expert fiction writer. And then it gives you a bunch of things for uh, fiction that you might need. Uh, the story so far, we might want to change this to be a little bit different to be tweaked more for nonfiction, but we'll get into that. So writing nonfiction inside of Novel Crafter is pretty straightforward, but there are a few kind of hacks that you need to make in order to make it work. Now I've talked to the developer of Novel Crafter. I know that they're working on some things that, that will probably make writing nonfiction a little bit more intuitive. So you don't have to hack it, but a lot of these things are really simple and don't actually take a whole lot of work. So step one, we want to make sure that you, the author are added here as a character. So as I mentioned here in Codex, you can go ahead and create new entry and then you'll want to select a character. And then from here, I already have one for myself here. A simple matter of just adding information about you, the character. So I have a couple of things in here. I just say Jason is the author of this book. He's an author who has written 17 books, including this one across fantasy and nonfiction. He previously worked for Kindlepreneur and basically I continue to give myself a number of things about my background. Uh, I have a YouTube channel called The Nerdy Novelist, right? I have a three-year-old daughter, angel of a wife, all true things. Uh, and I'm a huge nerd, Star Wars and Middle Earth being the two favorite worlds to explore. Also a big fan of Marvel and DC Comics, Star Trek, TMNT, Halo, Bethesda games, and much more. 
I'm an entrepreneur, basically all of the little things about me. Now I could probably add more here. I could talk a little bit more about how I speak and, and everything. Mostly I'm just giving you background information about me because the number two thing, step two that we wanna do is add a style prompt. Now there are a couple of ways to do this, but the easiest way here is to select style guide. Let's go ahead and add our information here about the style guide. So let's say in the style of a best-selling nonfiction author, and I could add a whole bunch of stuff here here just to add additional context. I'm not actually going to add much here because if you go look inside the prompts that we're going to use, a lot of the things that I would say are already in here. So writing in the right tense, using active voice, follow the show don't tell principle, all of those things in there already. I could add them again just to sort of add emphasis that those things are things that I want. But there are actually some ways to improve the style that I want it to have. And one of those ways is by adding a sample chapter. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually create a snippet up here next to Codis. You'll also find snippets and I'm going to select snippet. We're going to call this sample. And I'm just going to take a sample chapter that I've written, paste it in here. And this is a full chapter that I've written pre-AI, so it should be really good at sounding like me. And I'm just gonna leave that alone for now. We'll come back to this eventually. Now it's worth noting that you don't have to put a sample chapter in here. This is just me going overboard to make sure it writes a lot more in my style. And this is something that really only works with the Claude 3 family of models. So keep in mind that you might not need to actually do this step. You might also want to, in the codex, select another story genre. Instead of story genre, we're going to want this to be, this is a nonfiction book about fandoms. It is intended to be part inspirational memoir and part self-help book. So that gives a little bit more context of the type of book that I am writing here. Also, one last thing you wanna do is up here, go to this gear icon here, and here where you're writing in the title and the name of the author and everything, you want to go up here to where it says writing and we want to select our character. So in this case, I wanna be writing in first person from my perspective. This is why I set myself up as a character is I want to come up to here, say first person. You could also write in third person limited, second person, however you wanna go, and then select my character here as the viewpoint character. If you don't have that, it'll look like this. You just say select character, select yourself here, and boom, you are now a character. Uh, you can also select the tense as past or present, but we're gonna leave it at past here. All right, that's number one and two. Let's go to number three, which is to add some background information. So I've already made a snippet here for some links for me to reference later. I'm gonna go ahead and open this link. And I could go through and get the PDF from this, but this is basically a study that I wanna reference. I'm just gonna take the abstract for now, just for this demonstration. And instead of putting this as a snippet, we're gonna to go to Codex again. We're gonna say new entry and we're gonna select global entry. You could also select other here. I'm gonna go ahead and say global entry because I want it to reference this basically anytime that it's using the AI. So I'm gonna paste the abstract into here so it has that information. We're gonna call this psychology study of the power of storytelling. And now this is going to always be available to the AI as background information for it to reference. Now, let's say you don't need this to be referenced in the particular chapter. All you have to do is go here where it's checked to say always include this entry in the AI context. You just uncheck that. But right now I just want it to be information that's readily available to the AI. So I'm going to leave that check. And you could do this for as many things as you'd like. If you're writing an article and you want to have a whole bunch of example articles of what you're looking for, you can put all of that here in a global entry and it should do a decent job. All right. So step four is now adjusting the prompts. So we're going to come down here to where it says prompts and this gives you a list of the prompts that you can access inside of Novel Crafter. We're gonna go ahead to this general purpose one and I'm going to clone this and we're gonna call this clone general purpose nonfiction so we know which one it is. And then we're gonna come here you can see these are all the models that this has access to. If there's only a few models that you actually intend to use, you can delete some of these and then make sure that the models that you wanna use are here. Otherwise, we're just going to open this up 
And we're going to go through this and modify it just slightly so that it works for nonfiction. We're going to say you are an expert nonfiction writer instead of a fiction writer. Always keep the following rules in mind. We wanted to write in the right novel tense and novel language. Yep, that's fine. Active voice, show don't tell. Most of these are still okay. This one we don't need because it's about dialogue. Avoid mushy dialogue in descriptions. Yeah, put dialogue on its own paragraph. Well, I guess we are going to have some dialogue potentially when I put in scenario since this is kind of a memoir. So we're going to, in fact, let's put that here. Memoir writer. Take into account the following characters, locations, items, and lore. Instead of calling this characters, locations, items, and lore, we're just going to call this the following background information so it'll be pulling all of this stuff here and calling it background information and this here is called the story so far this section can probably stay even though this isn't necessarily fiction it's still a story every nonfiction book should still have story to it they're going to leave this as well this is this context that it's pulling in here is basically the same thing that you would find up here in the plan tab for the outline i'm going to add one more thing though right here in this next section i'm going to add a call here where we're going you know if you put two brackets you'll see a lot of different things that you can see that you can reference here in novel crafter and this is a little more advanced and that's why i'm saying that you don't have to do this but this is where i'm going to tell it to add the sample chapter in fact i'm going to do it just here i'm going to add this one that says snippets get and then i'm going to add a open parenthesis and in quotes, I'm going to put sample because that's the name of the snippet that I added my sample chapter in. And then before we do this, I'm just going to say here is a sample chapter written in my style. Please write in a similar style. And then it'll have that sample chapter. Now this part here where it says continue the story and write about 400 words for the following instructions and then you give it the scene beat. I'm going to say instead of continue the story, I'm just going to say continue the chapter. And that's pretty much all we need to do here. So we've now tweaked this general purpose nonfiction prompt to be how I like it. And there's more you could do here. You could just start over and do your entirely new prompt, but I think this will probably be sufficient for our needs. And now all we have to do is come here to the write tab and we're going to actually start writing out the first few paragraphs of this novel. So now that we have me as the author and selected as the viewpoint character, it should be writing in first person perspective from my perspective. So we're going to go ahead and select general purpose nonfiction and you get to pick which model you want to write with. My favorite at the moment is Claude 3 Opus, so that's what I'm going to write it with. And here it goes. The sun filtered through the leaves above me, casting a dappled pattern on the dirt path that wound through the forest. A light breeze rustled from the branches and a bird song filled the air. It was a picture perfect scene, one that should have filled me with peace and contentment. But as I walked, hands in my pockets, all I could feel was a nagging, longing in my gut. It was almost painful, a physical ache that I couldn't shake. And this is exactly what I wanted to start with. I say, talk about how I was walking down a pedestrian path through a lovely forested area, and yet all I could feel was this nagging, longing in my gut, almost painful. And it basically wrote exactly that. So let's say we wanted it to reference that psychological study of the power of storytelling. All we do is do a forward slash, and then select a scene beat and now we could say describe the benefits of storytelling and that's probably maybe not enough context but we'll just stick with that for now select the same model and then and it picked up exactly where i left off here as I continued my walk through the old neighborhood, my mind drifted to the countless stories I had consumed over the years, from the fantastic tales of Middle Earth to the epic space opera of Star Wars. Keep in mind, it only knows that because I've described myself as a character here, so it knows who I am, and it knows that these are fandoms that I'm into. There's something magical about storytelling, something that went beyond mere entertainment. Stories had the power to transport us to other worlds to make us feel things we had never felt before. 
But storytelling wasn't just about escapism and it continues on and on. And it's going to be pulling some things in here from this psychological study because it has this in its context. So lots of cool things that you can do here. You can modify this to work for an article as well. So the way I would do this, if I was doing an article, I would keep this bit here about myself being the author, but then I would probably bring in a lot of sample articles of things that are saying things that you want it to do, and then just outline the article that you want to write and the different sections you want for it, and then just have it write that article. It's really not that big of a tweak to make it work. Step six now, what we're going to do is edit this. Now you might be happy with this text exactly the way it is, but there's undoubtedly going to be some things that you're going to want to change. For instance, I see this sentence here, but anytime I was in the area, I found myself drawn back like a moth to a flame and the moth to a flame thing is definitely unneeded a little bit over the top. So I can just edit that out. But also if you have access to a fine tune model, which I've done other videos on fine tune models in the past, definitely go check those out if you're interested. But I have a fine tune model, for instance, that can take text that is given to me here and rewrite it in a style that's a little bit more my own. So for instance, I can hit this button and it should, yeah, and it definitely wrote this much more in my style. I have like a lot of short punchy sentences in my style. So here we have, but there was something different, something missing, something that I hadn't noticed before. I passed by the tree where I had first built my first fort, the corner store where I had bought countless popsicles on hot summer days, and the park where I had played pickup basketball with my friends until the streetlights came on. Some of this was made up and hallucinated, so I would need to actually go through and edit it structurally first. But on the whole, this fine-tuned model definitely did a good job of making the pros actually sound a lot more like me. And that really is it. That is the entire process for writing a nonfiction novel. All you have to do is rinse and repeat, going one beat at a time, ideally to create the entire thing here. So once again, if you are interested in learning more about Novel Crafter, check out my Novel Crafter 101 video, which will have everything you need to know about getting it set up to work for your fiction or in this case for nonfiction. And I will see you in the next video.